if my story coming and washing dishes in New York was the very beginning of my American journey, uh, there have been a number of people that have said one thing to me, but the one thing that stayed for the rest of my life. One was a law student, Italian, that told me that America wasn't just New York. It was everything else, where you could go and emerge and speak English and understand what this country is. The second one was my uncle, because I needed a liaison, a guardian, and somebody. And even if not very willingly, he made me come to California. My bus, three days, three nights, and finally I saw this thing. And so I find out that my uncle is a waiter, but a very good waiter, and had an excellent position. His position was that he was catering for a fine, fine restaurant that was famous for his celebrity, and catering to them. And I never seen a restaurant in my life. I didn't know what a restaurant was beside the focaccia or the pizza place in my little hometown and the food of the nuns where I kind of grew up in a boarding school. So coming to California and learning that there is a form of art, that there is a whole thing about uh, uh, working in a restaurant was an inspiration. So as I went through school, that was the perfect way for me to support myself. And I loved it because I could interact with people and I could learn. From then, I went through school. I learned my English and I graduated. I was the first one to graduate from my family. And then I always linked back to what I knew best, which was being with people and feeding them. And so where did I work? Mostly in Italian restaurants. And, uh, one day, as a dream, 42 years ago, I opened a restaurant, which was just a modest little place in a very not exciting stretch of Pico Boulevard. And uh, we are now the longest lasting fine restaurants in the city. So I guess not only I'm a piece of history as Italian American, but I'm a piece of history for Los Angeles as an Italian American Los Angeleno. And of lately, the exciting thing after I learned all of the things that were pretty much the high end, you know, the truffles and the fine wine and the fine products and so forth. I've been discovering the South, which is my roots. And I've discovered all of the beauty of the things that in Sicily were so typical. I am the American dream. Even with all of the ups and downs, I don't know what I would have been if I would have stayed in Sicily, if I wouldn't have had the luck of Uncle John being in the restaurant business. I'm lucky that I'm American now, and I'm lucky that I was born in Italy. And when you combine the two things, there is an American dream, but you work for it. The fact that the American dream could be anything, it's very important because you create the American dream, but you create with certain parts of yourself and the parts of myself until I was 17, being an Italian, have always stayed with me, have always blended into my growth, into my evolution, into my uh, going ahead. So, you know, we are all proud of our heritage. And, uh, you know, we probably Italian more than others because we really have a depth of history that makes us kind of lucky to be born where we were born. And you know, I'm very proud when I see the Italian American born here being as proud. So I have the edge of knowing it then and knowing it now, and mixing it is really a wonderful possibility. The Italian Americans is a production of WETA Washington DC and ARC Media in association with John Maggio Productions. Corporate funding is provided by Del Grosso Foods. Foundation funding is provided by the NEH, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations, and the Annenberg Foundation. Major funding is provided by CPB and PBS.